Yeah, so Herbert Dirksen and I were talking uh, at Christmas time about um, a whole load of things and one subject that came up was um, the America's Cup and the move to wing sales and um, our thoughts about it and, and from that he, he started talking about the possibility of building a wing sail for a, a beach cat effectively. Um, wing sails have existed for 30, 35 years but it was only when uh, BMW Oracle used one to win the last America's Cup that, that they became, I guess you could say, in fashion again. One thing led to another and we decided that we'd investigate the idea of whether it would be possible, what, whether it would be the right weight, um, etc. So, Three, four months later, we, uh, we got to a point where we were ready to start actually putting it together. With a wing sail, benefits are you, you have a lot more control over the shape of the sail. And uh, with the extra efficiency it will give us, um, we think that we could be onto a winner with it. So the aim is to try and save weight wherever possible. The leading edges are all out of uh, carbon fibre um, foam construction. Flat sheets that you see the ribs have all been cut from were manufactured at Marstrom up in Sweden. They're um, carbon Nomex panels that have been made in the autoclave, so they're incredibly strong but yet yeah, really light. Um, and now we're in the process of fitting it all together, checking all the alignment and then finally gluing everything in. Uh, and once that's done, and we have to fit the sail with the controls and finally we apply um, a, a heat shrink film which uh, will give the, the surface of the, the wing. For us we want to learn how to sail with them and show that it's not just technology for the high-end big boats. Um, we want to learn how to use it and uh, we want to get some good results with it ultimately. Texel's a month away, so um, we've got a bit to do, but we'll be, we'll be ready.